Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, I finally got the willpower to do this video. Show you guys this collection of 943 cards, I believe it is. Um, I generally just name one decent card on each page, I guess. Because I'm not going to sit here and name each card. I have no set price for the book, and I'll tell you right now, there's not great cards in here. This is more or less a bulk buy of, like, first generation cards. There's there's a few new ones. There's a few good cards in here, but not every page is stacked with great cards. Like, the only good card on this page would be Raging Flame Sprite, which is good for any deck. And then, like, I'm just trying to start back up on Yu-Gi-Oh again. But I can't really do that with all these pointless cards I have. These better and uh, better. All these pointless cards I have. And then I'm trying to make a Light Sworn deck. But, I don't know what price I would fail. I guess I'm going to just throw this up on YouTube. And then you guys can just offer away. Um, even though I'm pretty sure no one would actually want to buy any singular cards, I won't be doing that either. I just want to sell this as a whole bulk thing and pretty much just get this out of my hands. Now, the only thing I feel that I have in here, I feel like I have a lot of good burn cards. So if you're trying to make a burn deck, this would be good. I got a, a lot of upstar goblins, and I think I got one bad reaction to Samochi or whatever it's called. A solar flare. But yeah, for the most part, they're just all old cards from like the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to play a lot, me and my stepfather. He's actually the reason why I got into the game, because he would pay for my cards. But, um, yeah, and then I kind of just fell off of it. All these new cards are out. I have none of them. That's an old card right there, Guy of the Fierce Knight. Seize Fire, great card for a burn deck. There goes an Upstar Goblin. There's like seven more or something, I think. Another good burn card. Ojama King. I believe that's just a rare. Yeah, just the name. And then another one of those. And then the Somoshi. Which makes that card good. Another Wabaku. More Just Desserts. That's a good card for uh, any deck with warriors in it. Or Synchros. So it some armor just as good as like a Mirror Force or anything else. Well, not really, but another good burn card. And then Brain Control and Monster Born. Those are two good cards. Hello, those are Hero Neos. Oh, I hope I'm getting good light on these cards. It's where you can at least notice what they are. A Jigen Baku. Bakudan from Pegasus. Mass Dragon, good for any dragon deck. Tomb Summon Skull. I had a holographic ultra. Uh, yeah, an ultra rare. I don't know what happened to that. Um, nothing really that great on this page. Grave Keepers. I got a lot of Grave Keeper cards. Let's see. Yeah, just looking back on all of these, man. Now, I don't remember if I said at the beginning, but I am 95% sure that there is about 943 cards in this entire book. Oh, whoops, got the screen in the shot. Spear Korean, always a good card. Wall Shadow, that thing was old. But, um, yeah, about 943 cards. Thousand Night Idol. Now, I don't keep up on the ban list, so I don't know what's banned and not banned. But I'm almost sure 
that a lot of these cards are still playable. But just because they're playable doesn't mean people actually want to play with them. I have come to the reality that old Yu-Gi-Oh cards are just not worth what they used to be. Just because instead of the series ending like I predicted when I was very young, it the series just got better and better. And more cards came out instead of stopping production. So my old collection went from being very collectible to ending up on YouTube for a hopeful sale. Now also, if you live anywhere in Ohio or the Cleveland area, and you know someone who collects Hot Wheel cars, please let them know to look my ad up on Craigslist. Actually, I'll post it in the description box. I'm selling 47 still in the package Hot Wheel cars, and the years on the cars vary from 2000 to 2004. None of them, not, most of them are mint condition. There might be one or two of them with a few bent edges. Ben Kai, that's a good card. <coughs> Another Upstart Goblin. Duh. Ah, excuse me. I've been dreading to make this video because, you know, I don't want to sit here and drag this camera across three times per page. Like, it's just a hassle, but finally did it, or at least doing it. Now, I'm not going to post, like, a profile of this in the description of each card, because honestly, that would be fucking crazy. I'm not posting 900 cards, even though a lot of them are doubles. I'd have to go through and figure out which ones are doubles and what's are not. Like, right here, look at this. Bubonic Vermin, Bubonic Vermin. Vermin, vermin, vermin. It's ridiculous, but... Now, for price, I, as I said, I don't know what I can get for this. Hopefully I'll post this and it gets a lot of views. Hopefully people just throw offers out there, you know, I'm open to anything because I just want to get rid of them. But, I also don't want to get gypped where like I could just take them into some kind of company and shred them all up and make more money off of that somehow. Now my top priority is to at least somehow make 150 bucks off of this because that'll get me the light sword deck that I need. That's uh would also just give me 150 extra bucks if I'd ever sell those goddamn Hot Wheel cars. I had like a hundred trap holes, I think. A Sangen. Everybody loves Sangen. Dragon Capture Jar. That's uh, that's old. Magician of Faith. Exit of Spare. Oh, Marco's Cosmos. You got an out of play deck. It's a good card. Yada Garusu. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure that card. I actually know for a fact that card is banned. Man Eater Bug. Just looking at these cards takes me back to when, like, I remember the first episode where you never had to sacrifice for anything. Now, more of the better cards are towards the back. I did that on purpose. So I can make you guys watch this whole video. No, I'm just kidding. That's actually how the cookie crumbled. Just all the my cards with anything holographic on them really tore, ended up towards the end. And some cards that I bought out of a booster pack, a brand new one, Lighter Destruction, ended up back there. A lot of Arcanas and Hero Mask or something. Now that's a Hollow Shadow spell. Very nice. Mystic Space Typhoon. Hmm. There we go. Oh, okay, that looks much better. Oh, God, 9 minutes and 38 seconds already. This is ridiculous. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'm going to try to speed this up. This page, just another Spark Man, pretty much. And then over here, what do we got? This funny looking card called a turtle tiger. 
find that hilarious. Over here, anything good, anything good. Ultimate offering. Can never go wrong with an ultimate offering. Ikazi, good for a burn deck, as I said. Revival Jam. Somehow you have the cards that aren't banned and you could fucking rock like some Slifer rerun deck from the old days. But you know, no one does that. Final Destiny. Destiny Hero. Uh, another Dragon Capture. Common, not rare. A very destroyed Ring of Magnetism. I don't even remember what that card does. Element Dragon. Seven Tools. Another Ultimate. Four Star Ladybug. And then who I have Hero here. And then. Look over here. Weather Report. No one used that card because it was fucking retarded. Fusion Recovery. Good for uh, Element of Hero deck. Stomping Destruction, good for a Dragon deck. What else do we got here? Another seven tools. Now see this one I'm gonna do right here, because none of those cards are that great. A Sparks, decent, nonetheless for a burn deck. <sighs> Nothing really that great here. Dark Snake Syndrome. Tremendous fire. Never, as I said, good card for burn deck. I think it's like the fourth upstar goblin now. Another bubonic vermin. What else? A true nade, you never go wrong with a true nade. I'm pretty sure everyone has one of those. But it's always nice to have a backup. Ah, here goes one of the newer cards that I have a battery man charger. And then. Whoops. Arm dragon level 5. Here's a level 3 in here too, if anyone cares. Now here goes the newer cards. Cloudy and Storm Dragon. Arcana Force Emperor. Light Spiral. Arcana Force. Four. I think that's six. The Lovers. Then Arcana Force. A lot of numbers. The Moon. I think that's the best one. Then Cup Ace. And then we got Hero Mask. Another Battery Man Charger. Knights. King's Knight. Now that's old guy. The Dragon Champion. Meteor Destruction, mm, Jack Knight, and there are two Dragon Capture Jars, super, no not super, just rare my bad, and then you know, Penguin Soldier, Here you go, Hero Barrier, and we got a Black, uh, Black Illusion Ritual, and we're almost done here people, only 13 minutes and 52 seconds, holy shit. And then here we go. Here goes again. Ominous Fortune Teller. Mystic Tomato. Good card. Alright, that's it, guys. Here's the thickness of the binder. You know, you can have the goddamn binder too, I don't care. Uh, thanks. Please give us some consideration. Leave an offer. Like. Send me a message. Comment it. I don't care. Just some po somehow get me your offer.